Taylor Christmas. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video because today we're going to be doing some reviews on this Vasool Lash Lift Kit. This thing is extremely popular. Women are buying it like crazy. <laughs> but I just wanted to give my review because personally this did not work for me and I'm just so sad about it. But I thought I could come on here and talk about it just in case there's anyone out there that's looking to get this. It is a good kit for some people, but for me, it just didn't work. If you'd like to hear more about how this went for me, please keep watching. All right, so with this kit, I bought this for, I believe, maybe less than $25. And it was a good kit. I looked it up, all the reviews. I looked it up on YouTube. I saw it on Amazon. So many women were trying it and their eyelashes were actually lifting. It came out perfect. But for me, it just was an absolute fail. It did not do anything. I have actually already tried the product twice now in a week. And let's see if I can get close enough. I hope, okay, ignore the eyebrows because they're growing out. But this is my eyelashes. They are not... They are pretty lengthy. I don't know if you can see them if I close my eyes, but they're lengthy eyelashes. They are like, they're, they're just flat. I did it on one eye first because if you do it yourself, then obviously you have to do one eye at a time. So I did one this eye here and there is no difference from this one. <laughs> it is, it's a funny story because I really put a lot into this to see if it would work. Um, when I bought the kit, of course, I had seen so many women, like I said, do it already. I went to my sister who's a, she does lash lifts and eyelash extensions, and I was like, well, you know, help me give this a shot, will you do it for me? And she actually didn't wanna do it because she didn't think it would work. And I was like, oh, you're just hating, you know, it's gonna work, and it did not work. So she and I opened the kit together and we used pretty much everything that's in here. So the only thing that she brought from like her line of work was like the under eyelid pads and then that was it. We, in the kit, it's gonna give you all the things you need. So here is the adhesive. Um, you've got the perm, the fixation cream, the cleanser and the nourishment in here. And these are the lash lift pads that go on the top of your eyelid. And then this is the cleaning tool. Well, like the, so when it says the cleaning tool, it's the tool that helps you scrape them up. So, let's get started on this. So with this, I didn't have a problem with any of the products in the kit. Huge, huge problem was with the lift pads. I just, if you, let's see. I just didn't think these were good because <laughs> it only had about, it had three sizes, small, medium, or large. And so my eyelids are not like, I have a full spaced lid, but it just didn't work for me. So this is what they look like. Yeah, not bad. Just, just lift pads. But if you can see how thick that the bubble portion is, it is so thick. Like, it's not possible, like... <laughs> so, with these two, we did this probably 20 times. We put the adhesive on my eyelid and then on the back of the lift pad, did not work. And then when you held it down, we held it down for, for minutes and minutes and minutes and it, I mean, it did nothing. It, it was probably 10 minutes in and we were still just trying to get these two <laughs> to stay. And so once she got it to stay on one of the eyes, it was still lifting, which made her uncomfortable because she is a, a to as licensed esthetician doing lash lifts and eyelash extensions. She said that this was made her feel uncomfortable because it's not working. It's not supposed to do that. So I told her, you know, like, just keep going, you know, maybe it'll work. And it's a mess. It just got messier. 
So finally, when the lift pad was somewhat sticking to my eyelid, we took the cleansing tool, which is what you use to pretty much scrape your eyelashes back. We went to that step. And when we did, it was obvious that this wasn't gonna work for me. It wasn't. So I am just gonna show you some photos of what it looked like before and after I tried it. <laughs> These photos are so embarrassing. I'm growing my eyebrows out. Don't laugh. We were like, the, look, only two eyelashes were going down. They just kept springing up. They would not hold down. I don't, I don't know what it was. We used an insane amount of the glue and it was, it only held down two lashes on this side. It just would not do it. This is an overall, this is the other eye. This is the other eye. So on that eye, you can see that, hold on, there. So on that eye, more lashes were being held down. But again, that was after, this was after 10 minutes of scraping it down and applying glue. So this was like 20 minutes now into the process and that's as far as we got and they were still lifting from the glue so it was just getting more and more worrisome and I was really getting scared for my eyelashes because we're going on a trip in two months and I don't want them to fry because of the perm I didn't even get to the step of using the perm or the fixation cream because I couldn't get the lashes to stay down. My lashes literally kept lifting. So, being the person that I am, I said, well, maybe my sister doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> of course, I'm going to say an uh, expert in her field doesn't know what she's doing. Of course, right? Right. So, I say, you know what? I'm going to try it myself. So, this was probably two days later. I went in front of my mirror and I got all the equipment that was in this little packet I used all the things that came in the kit and it was a fail times 10 again now that was on the second try and it was still a fail so now I'm like okay this was a waste of money absolutely I must be one in a million because all over the place on YouTube um the Amazon reviews, this thing was like, oh my God, it works. And it did not work for me. So, then I start to think, well, maybe it's the adhesive because the adhesive is the only thing that would not stick. Now, I didn't get a chance to even try any of the little ointments. So, I being me, trying to make it work because I don't want to spend $100 to get an actual lash lift, went on Amazon and found some adhesive that is similar to a very expensive brand. So this was the adhesive that I bought. Um, it's called Dolly's Lash Eyelash Perm Glue and it's the five milliliter bottle and it just comes just like this from Amazon. This was, I know I spent a lot of money on just this and the actual vessel kit and it was not worth it. <laughs> I had already paid for the Vassal kit and this cream, this little adhesive from the Dolly's Lash Glue was $22. I'm crazy. I'm insane. I'm insane. <laughs> so I spent $22 on this and I spent $28 on this lash kit. I have no words. If I hadn't have bought either one of these, and if I just saved the money, I would have half the money to get an actual lash lift. I take this new lash adhesive from the Dolly's Lash Eyelash Perm Glue, and I take the lift pad, and I start the process a day later. I waited, so this all happened within like less than a week. I tried it the first time with my sister, it did not work. I tried it on my own, absolute fail. Now I'm trying it a third time. There was a day in between all of them just because I wanted to rest my eyelashes because I'm like, they're gonna fall off at this point. 
So with this lash adhesive, the new one that is separate from the Vasool kit, this one actually was very good, very good. <laughs> it was good. So I put this on, the lift pad actually stayed down. So I was like, okay, this is going well. I take the cleansing tool and I am trying to get the eyelashes to stay up and put the pad on. Oh God, this one's a large, so it's not fitting. And I'm going like this and my eyelashes are actually staying upwards. And I'm like, okay, we're getting somewhere this time. However, I was in high hopes, but I start to put on all these ointments that are with the steps. So once I get my lashes to stick to the lip pad with the new adhesive, not the one that came in the Vasool kit, the new one from the Dolly eyelash glue, I use that. I get the kit back out because I'm like, okay, I'm actually going to start the process. So on here it says to use the perm lotion. I put this perm lotion, which is number one, right here. I put the perm lotion on my eyes and I put the plastic wrap over it. And I'm sitting there watching TV like this because you can't open your eye for five minutes. Once the perm is finished, I go ahead and put the fixation cream on, which is number two, the blue one. I put that on my eye and I wait another five minutes with the clear wrap. And then I'm super excited because I'm like, okay, this is going to lift my lashes. I'm so stoked. And so I go to get the cleansing solution. And that is number four. You get number four, the cleansing solution, and you wipe it off. And as I'm wiping it off, my smile goes from to because <laughs> it didn't work. I immediately noticed that my lashes went right back to what they are now. So after doing all of that to try to get a good adhesive to lay down the eyelashes on the lift pad even after all of that this kit still didn't work for me the perming solution and the fixation solution none of that none of that worked my eyelashes were still exactly how they are now nothing nothing changed nothing so i was furious <laughs> Cause I was like, wow, like what, what? So I was very upset. I was like, well, it can work for everyone else, but not me. And it's sad when a product makes you feel that way, but that just means that you're special. But in reality, it just means that it didn't work for me. I don't know. I did some Googling and some YouTubing and it looks like some lashes need more than other women's do to get a good lash lift. So, I'm just going to pay the money to get an actual lash lift because I do not want to ruin my eyelashes with any more tests, any more of these little products that work for other people. I'm just going to go get a professional to do it. I might get my sister. <laughs> I'm sure she'll tell me, I told you so, but it's okay. So in the end, this product really wasn't that great for me, but it might work for you. That does not mean you don't go try it. but. If you have lashes that are stubborn when you try to curl them with the eyelash curler, then you might have trouble getting them to curl with one of these kits. Because my lashes are extremely stubborn. Like I can curl them and curl them. They will go from up to straight. Up to straight. Just like that. So that's just a little FYI. If anybody want to know the real and what this kit did for me, it did nothing. But I learned a lesson. <laughs> Don't waste $50, just go get it done professionally. But again, that's my opinion. If you guys tried this and it worked for you, comment down below. I'm really excited and happy that it worked for you. Just didn't work for me. But thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good one. Bye.